Hi everybody, I'm back with another journal today and this one is pink, pink, and pink. So if you love pink, this may be the journal for you. On the front, oh, let's measure, almost forgot, seven, about four and a half. And it's, it's a pink tablecloth. My friend um, Valerie stopped at a, a yard sale before she came over last week and she found these. And uh, it's a really pretty color pink and I stitched around the edge in white. It is uh, lined on the inside. Got some pink flowers here, some music paper, a real pretty image of a lady, and, and a rose there. It's got a lace closure. There's the spine, and on, on the tablecloth itself, it had embroidered fleur-de-lis, which is just beautiful. Tablecloth. I think it's a placemat, actually, but you know. Let's go inside. You know, after I cut them up, I don't remember. I just cut. And this has got a little bit of a ballerina theme going on. I sewed on a pocket in the matching fabric and did a little bit of stitching there. And in the inside first pocket, we have a, a nice size booklet with a seam binding closure and some little charms. And that's a linen uh, fabric. And on the inside, it's just got a variety of uh, Places to journal and things. A little card here. Pretty rose. Got some ephemera in it. You know, I'm trying to start using my ephemera that I collect all the time. It's it's kind of run me over, so I'm, I'm using the originals instead of printing them. Scanning them and printing them. You can't keep everything as much as you want to. There's a nice fabric pocket here with a rose and part of a doily. There's some of that paper that I like to make. Stamp on and sprayed and all kinds of stuff. Look at that. Isn't that yumminess? Yum. Oh, that's pretty too. Love it. A little ruffle here. A little pocket with a butterfly. Pretty hard to journal on. Another pocket here with some different fabrics. Different papers. Little tuck spot. Pretty rose graphics, which I thought went nicely. Look, I made that like to look like a postcard. That's just the back of the of the book, and I'll set that to the side. Over here's a real pretty ballerina and some of the fabric from the uh, cover, a little image. And over here is a nice, you know, you could journal on this too. It's got seam binding and it's been stitched in pink. Like I said, it's pink, pink, and pink. As we say in the South, pink. <laughs> some is heavily coffee dyed and some is medium coffee dyed. Here I just stitched around and let it come on over. You know, that's my new thing. The last, uh, the think the journals I just posted had some of that in there too, and I'm really liking the stitching. I've been doing this, but stitching on the whole page. I just love it. Another pretty ballerina. Some flowers here. Some music paper. Oh, and a place I didn't tuck. Looky there. Imagine that, y'all. I missed the spot. Mm. Snippets. Got the snippets here. I will make sure I put something in that, but that's a little, a little tuck spot there, and it's kind of stretchy, so it'll hold a good bit. Real pretty girls in their ballerina outfits. Here's a little mini collage with some music fabric and a clef and uh, the seam binding. 
Aren't they gorgeous? And this is one of the tags that we make, and um, I just attached it to the page with the stitching on the other side that comes through. And even though it covers it up in some places, you know, I'm okay with that. I think that's pretty neato. A little ballerina here. Here's a card with some music on it. It's got a little tag with a button. Coffee dot on the back and front. Get in there. This is part of a curtain with a little guitar and uh, some more of that music fabric stitched down the side. Over here is another ballerina image, and I used an embossed pocket for this one. And some cards for journaling. I love this. I love this. I have a little brown jug, and it plays a little brown jug. <laughs> it was my mother's. It, my mother's family. I don't. Uh, I think it was handed down to her. And there's a little card, a little journaling card. And it's got uh, music paper behind it, and then a collage here with a ballerina. And I let the ruffle from the other side come on over. Put a music note and some of the matching fabric. Another pocket here, and it's got a part of a violin and a little tag on top on some music paper. With some stitched writing cards. Lace coming over from the other side. Little piano and a clef here. And one of those thingies I like to make. Y'all notice I've just given up. I'm just going to call it a thingy. Piece of music paper here. And the stitching. The stitching is a light pink, and I used white on the outside, and I, it's a nice combination in this book. And here's the back. A little flower here, postcard, and some fabric. Well, actually, that's lace and some cheesecloth, and then it, this holds these in place. Thank you. Thank you. And back here, uh, it's the matching pocket stitched across, just like in the front. But um, I just added a collage of, not a collage, but a group of cards. Just different, kind of neato things to journal on. Oh, and a recipe card. Fried green tomatoes. Have y'all watched that movie? If you haven't seen that movie, it's absolutely hysterical. I love it. Um... And it gives you a recipe. They're very, very good. You, you know, if, if that's not something you're accustomed to, here in the South, we eat them all the time. And the green tomatoes make it a little bit tart. So it's it's really yummy. And, of course, you can just use it as a journaling card. And it's got a lace closure. I'll you back here. It's a little pretty, pretty lace. And there's the front again. In the back with the fleur de lis. I don't think I, I think there's a fleur de lis back, yeah, there's a fleur de lis back here too. Thanks y'all so much for being here with me on this Friday. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye y'all.